Right, so I bought this air pump. Um, doesn't seem to have a brand as such. It was uh, off eBay, I think, or Amazon. But um, unfortunately, it's dead on arrival. Uh, it's charged up, but just won't come to life. The screen does light up briefly if you plug in the charging lead, which is just a USB, as you'd expect. But um, but yeah, just just nothing. The company's given me a refund, so and they don't want this back. So I thought I might as well see how it works, kind of thing, what's inside. It looks to me as if this end is a contiguous, well, maybe not. I was going to say a contiguous case, like a can. Um, and the top has definitely got a, a uh, visible sort of joint around it. So I'm hoping that uh, this will just prise out. If I get a knife down this narrow gap. Ah, yes. Looks promising. Oh, maybe not. And there's a little pip there. Ooh. It's obviously not made to be taken apart. Like so many things these days. It's obviously something holding it here. Is just a clip or um no, it's not gonna it's not obviously coming apart. Oop. So that just broke I probably I suspect. I think it's probably welded together. See the LED, there's an LED there. You can see that poking through the case on the inside. This cover seems to be coming away, leaving behind the um, air outlet. Let's keep going. Oop. Yeah, it seems to be working. Actually, no, the LED is stay behind. So it does look as if this cap is, is welded in. It looks to be welded around here and around here. This side, I'm not so sure. There's this little pip on it. But um, yeah, it's not brilliant molding. It's pretty rough on the back. Okay, on this side though. So not too bad. Little holes around the edge here, around this um, where the air comes out. The air comes out here. I, I'm guessing that that's the uh, air inlet because there isn't a hole anywhere else. Oh, this there is on the back. Okay, I don't know why that would be there then. So that was the part that's welded in or glued in. There's this inner part here, which looks to hold the pump, and obviously there's a battery there as well. In fact, there's two batteries, one on top of the other, one there, one there. Yeah. Connector down there. So will this part just pull out? It looks as like if it should do. But again, I suspect it's, it's glued in. Could be some catches there. Yep. 
yeah, this this isn't going to come out come apart in one piece. I don't think. I'm going to have to cut the case off, which is a shame. But it doesn't work anyway. I can recover some other bits, like some of the LED and uh, sockets are useful sometimes. So let's have a look, and the batteries, of course. So trusty Dremel it is. I think if I cut down, where should I cut down? Cut down here, probably. See where that text is. So my destructive dismantling of this, I've cut the case, and then discovered, of course, this uh, this end piece dropped out. That's the, the top end that I took off first with the knife. Goes around that way. So that prized off relatively easily. But um, so this bottom bit just dropped off now. It's just held on by three, maybe four, yeah, four little clips. So that was pressed in this end. But underneath it, there are two screws. So that is good. I guess that's what's holding this this inner box in. Especially there's a box inside the the case, and so just dropped in, and obviously screwed in place here. So I think that's probably what's holding it now. So I felt of it as glued in, but um, this would certainly explain it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so there's, so if you do want to get into one of these, then the answer seems to be to prise the bottom end off. Um, well, and the top end, and then take out these two screws and this, this inner unit should just slide out in one piece. So I guess that's worth knowing. Anyway, so printed circuit board, some tactile switches, which um, sit underneath these ones on the front panel. And then a little LCD, custom LCD panel. USB in, and USB out, and it acts as a power bank as well as a charge, a uh, compressor rather. So yeah, quite a neat little compressor. I wonder how this comes apart. Looks as if there's clips here perhaps on either side. I'll see if I can get that apart. Yeah, sure enough, these clips. Looks as if they just press in and pop out somehow. Not entirely straightforward, but one side sticking here somewhere. Looks like that joint might be glued. It's annoying. Try this side. Oops, there we go. No, in for a penny, in for a pound, and it's definitely not coming apart very easily. Oh, there we go. Ah, so the printed circuit board is, is screwed in. Two screws, well, three screws here. Look, that one's missing. There seem to be um, connectors on this ribbon cable. There you go. Yeah, so there's a bunch of connectors, three connectors. So it's quite a sophisticated device, really. Lots of complexity and uh, parts. So if we don't plug them. It looks like a power supply to the uh, motor. So yeah, quite a nice little PCB. Nothing on this side worth speaking of. Just a couple of capacitors and uh, the connectors. But how does it handle the power? I guess it's this transistor perhaps is the uh, turning the motor on off. 
So there are two screws. There's a screw there and a screw here. So on this back side, so as I said, it's quite a complicated arrangement. Quite a lot of things to assemble, even after you've made them. So finally, so yes, obviously that is the answer. For you to get in, you need to spring off the top cap and the bottom cap, undo these two screws, take the PCB off with four screws, at least no, three screws, maybe four, those small ones, then unscrew these two on the back, and then finally, you're pretty much in. So in here, looks pretty neat actually. For a start on this case, there's a sort of ducting here that fits around the motor. So I think that's what um, gets the ventilation in to the back of the motor or the side of the motor here. So yeah, very nice little unit really, very compact. Sort of gear train made of um, sintered gears by the looks of it, powdered metal. It's only the crankshaft looks, um, sorry, the conrod looks to be uh, sintered as well, maybe die cast. Nice little piston, I have an o-ring on it I'm sure. Um, so yeah, looks good. Better than plastic gear certainly. And uh, two 18650s which will be useful. Bit of double-sided foam. So I can keep those and use it for something else. Actually, are they 8650s? Are they smaller? I think they're actually smaller, aren't they? JKT202107. Yeah, I think they're, they're smaller. I'm not sure what the capacity of the uh, unit is supposed to be. I think it's 4,000 milliamp hours, something like that. So I guess it's two each, but um, yeah. Yeah, it could be useful. Three wires, notice. So presumably it charges the cells independently, balancing them. Right. Okay, well, if you've got one of these and need to get into it, then that's the answer. Uh, don't do what I've done and hack into it blindly. Might be able to salvage a few bits off there. Anyway, thanks for watching.